Hello there peeps, just a very quick update. I know I haven't been putting anything up for a couple of weeks, but I'm afraid uh, friends illnesses, visiting hospitals, hospital trips and work has got in the way, you know. That's a thing called life that gets in the way of uh, playing. Anyway, where am I on my van? Well, I've got 12 volt power. Let's, let's start with the fuse box. I've got this leisure battery that came with the van. It's pretty knackered. Um, it's not going to be in the final fit, so I'm just using it and abusing it at the moment. I've just got it roughly wired in to a fuse board. So I can literally just run things. Um, these crocodile clips you see you can run off this cable go up there through the roof to if you can see that a very small 20 watt solar panel would you believe I found it in the scrap brand new in the box I couldn't have found it before I, bought, I spent 400 quid on energy panels but there you go it doesn't matter it's just up there it's not doing anything at the moment because the weather outside is well let's have a look Manky to say the least. It's putting out 11.9 volts with connected to the battery, so with a load on it, it's putting out 11.9 volts, so it's doing bugger all. The battery's sitting at 12 volts, so it is flat. So that's coming in tonight to have a charge. Um, so we've got the solar panel that is or isn't charging the battery via being plugged into the fuse box because the cable's not long enough to reach the battery. It's all a bodge, don't panic, it'll be sorted out eventually. I've got these sockets that came with the ambulance. I've bought three of the plugs to go to them, as you can see here. I've got this socket wired up and it's live. They plug into that and that's going to run my 12 volt TV. I've really got not a lot of stuff to run on 12 volt in this van, but that socket's wired up. And although it's not lit up because I haven't connected it to the fuse board, those two sockets are going to be wired up. So I will have 12 volts in the van if needed. Whoever wants to go on 12 volts goes on one of these plugs. You can buy them on eBay. I think they cost me £3 each, something like that. And you get to use the sockets. I'm leaving the 12 volt sockets up high. Um, simply so I don't spill stuff on them. I don't want to start blowing fuses because I'm a clumsy sod. Um, this one's a double USB socket. It's got a 1 amp plug and a 2 amp plug. At the moment it's just running a fan to get some air circulation in here because it draws less ampage than what these big old buggers do up on the roof. So that by the amount of noise they make. This does draw lots of air out and the one at the back does draw lots of air in. And it makes really nice circulation but Kills my single battery, especially with the uh, solar not connected on the roof. Anyway, I've got 12 volt socket up there for the TV. Double 5 volt USB sockets there. That's going to run my Now TV box and my PlayStation Classic, which are both run off 5 volt USB. That's going to run my actual TV, which is 12 volt. And I've got a spare socket down there, which reads voltage to tell you roughly. It's, it's not very accurate because this one says 12 volts the one at the back will say 11.9 volts and the actual voltage at the battery i've just measured it with my meter and it is 12.94 so there's you know one's low one's high but they give you a rough indication of what the battery is like um just so when i wake up in bed i can switch that socket on check what condition the batteries are in from the bed without having to get up and come over here and check the mc50 which was already mt50 my control panel for me solar charger which will be up there the batteries will eventually be under the floor there in the diesel heater box i can get three 100 amp hour batteries in there turn sideways in a row that gives me 150 amp hours of usable power and i've got what have i got up on the roof i've got 400 watts of solar to go up on the roof or 420 if you count that uh, freebie solar panel i found as you can maybe see down here I've been tracing wiring back doing all sorts of uh, buzzing wires out tracing them see where they go that'll all be tidied back up and the only wires I'm really leaving connected is the auto eject for the shore power everything else is being transferred to this fuse box 
to run the back of the van. The whole back of the van will be run from the leisure batteries, won't be connected to the front at all. Uh, the only thing that will be connected to the front will be the diesel heater. And for that, I've got one of these on on switches. So when it's in, well, it doesn't really matter when it's in that position, power will come in from the Phoenix system and out to the diesel heater. When it's in that position, power will come in from the leisure batteries and go out to the diesel heater. These are normally used the other way around. Normally you put the power in there and you power two different circuits. So you'd have, for instance, left lights, right lights. Power in, different power out. I'm using this one backwards, so it'll be power in from the Phoenix system. So when it's switched to there, if I'm driving along, I can stick the diesel heater on in the back, say 20 minutes before we get to camp to warm it up. Turn the engine off, diesel heater will obviously turn off because the Phoenix switches off. Switch that that way. And then I've got power feed from the leisure battery so I can continue to use the diesel heater while parked up. That's how that's going to work. Anyway, the rest of it is going to be totally disconnected. Any wires that are left connected up there either run nowhere or they go to the scene lights, the alleyway lights on the back and the sides. Um, and one wire that I'm using to run my light bar which will be run via the Phoenix system. I don't want to use it. It's like one of those big, long 52-inch light bars, so I don't really want to use it with anything. I've also got a USB liquidizer um, for making smoothies and stuff that will plug in down there. Um, this is where the cooking area is going to be, obviously. Um, I'm probably going to have some extra lighting over here. 